Good morning. This is Pastor Mark Creekmore, pastor at Bimini Baptist Church in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. This morning, we are continuing our study in the great and exciting book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 this morning, verses 7 through 18. Let me pray as we begin. Lord Jesus, teach us today. Open our hearts to your word. Lord, I pray for those that are watching today. I pray that you'll touch them, and I pray that you'll minister to them in Jesus' name. And as always, I honor you with every word said today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's begin by reading the text this morning. Revelation chapter 1, verse number 7. Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, including those who pierced him, and all the families of the earth will mourn over him. This is certain, amen, I am Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is, who was, and who is coming, the Almighty. I, John, your brother and partner in the tribulation, kingdom and endurance, that are in Jesus and on the island called Patmos because of God's word and the testimony about Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard a loud voice behind me like a trumpet saying, write on a scroll what you see and send it to the seven churches, Ephesus, Myrna, Pergamum, uh, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me when I turned and saw seven golden lampstands, and among the lampstands was one like the Son of Man, dressed in a long robe and with uh, a gold sash wrapped around his chest. His head and his hair were white like wool, white as snow, and his eyes like a fiery flame. His feet were like bronze or fine bronze as it, it is fired in a furnace and his voice like the sound of cascading waters. He had seven stars in his right hand. A sharp double-edged sword came from his mouth and his face was shining like the sun at midday. When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man. I laid his right hand on me and, or he laid his right hand on me and said, don't be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. I was dead, but look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. This passage is about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. We should be living as though the Lord Jesus may just come today. At any minute, Jesus, at every, any moment, Jesus may come. As we look at Revelation chapter 1, verses 7 and 8, we shall see Jesus not as he was, but as he is with the veil taken off. We will see the glorified Christ in this text. Everyone, everywhere will see the Lord Jesus. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and everything in between. He is God's alphabet. He is God's first word. He is God's full word. And he is God's final word. Jesus is the omniscient one. We will never need anything more than we need the Lord Jesus. We will never go beyond Jesus. He is all we will ever need. Jesus is the omnipresent one. In Revelation 1.8, he, he was here before anything ever was. He is the beginning and he is the ending. He brought it all into existence and is the one who will bring it all to consummation. Jesus is the omnipotent one. We see that also in Revelation 1.8. 
He is not just the present or, or the pleasant teacher. He is God. I want to say that again. Jesus is God. We don't just tip the hat to Jesus. We bow the knee to the Lord Jesus Christ. To miss the fact that he is God, of the very God, is to miss all of Christianity. That's what Christianity is all about. As we look at Revelation chapter 1 and verse number 4, there is a glorious contrast between his first and second comings. He came the first time to take the sinner's place. When he comes again, he will execute judgment upon the unsaved sinner. He came the first time as the lamb. He's coming the second time as the lion. He came the first time to save the lost. He's coming the second time to take vengeance on those who obey not the gospel. He came the first time as a messenger of love. He's coming again as the righteous judge. He came the first time as the greatest of all humanity. He's coming the second time in incredible power and glory. He came the first time. The first time he came, he wore a robe of shame that was mocked. He's coming again, and when he comes again, he'll sit upon the throne of his glory and be revealed as Lord. 1 Timothy 6.15 says, God will bring this about in his own time. He is the blessed and only sovereign, King of kings and Lord of lords. We read uh, in Revelation 1.9 that Patmos was really, if I could describe Patmos in today's terminology, it would be the Alcatraz of its day. Dangerous criminals and felons were sent to Patmos for punishment and to get them away from society. John, the beloved disciple, was about 90 years of age and had been banished to the Isle of Patmos. If we live for the Lord Jesus, we will have tribulation. We will have hardship. John 16, says, I've told you these things, so in me you may have peace. You will have suffering in this world. You will have tribulation in this world. Be courageous. I have overcome or I have conquered the world. This is not a reference or it is not referring to the great tribulation. The closer we get to the Lord's return, the more intense tribulation will become. When real tribulation begins, it will weed out those who truly love the Lord Jesus and those who pretend a devotion to him. John is a brother in tribulation. God gives John a glimpse into glory. Uh, God gives John a vision of who the Lord Jesus is and is to come, the coming Lord. In Revelation chapter 1, verses 10 through 18, that I will cover tomorrow morning, uh, John saw 10 things about the Lord Jesus. And so what I hope to do tomorrow morning is to pick up at verse 10 Take us through verse 18, and I'm going to show you 10 things about the Lord Jesus that was revealed to John on the Isle of Patmos. I hope this morning that this study has encouraged you. My friend, Christian friend, we are winners. We're on a winning team. I've read the last book of the Bible the last chapter of the Bible, as we journey in that direction, and we are winners. God bless you. Hope you have a great Monday. Let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will bless uh, all those that are watching. 
either right now or later today or even this week, bless them with the reading and the study of your word. Lord, we thank you for the book of Revelation. Continue to bless us as we study this great book. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great Monday. Thanks for tuning in.